Hello Libra. This is your reading for the 15th to the 31st. This is for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. Please like. If you like the video, share it. Subscribe to the channel. And um, let's see what's going on for you guys for the remainder of the month for Libra. What's going on around my Libra's in love? For July 15th through the 31st, please show me what's going on around my Libra's in love. Hmm, the moon. A lot that's not known to you. Emotions are kind of up and down at the moment here. Um, cancer energy here. Piscean energy. A lot that you're questioning emotionally. Feelings are not clear to you. How someone else feels is not really that um, clear for you guys here. Let's see what's crossing you guys. The Nine of Cups. To not depend on someone else to, um, to make you happy. Do what makes you happy. That's what's crossing you. The Nine of Cups. Focusing on yourself. Okay? Focusing on you and having your wishes um, filled here. Let's see the underlying issue. Queen of Pentacles. Always trying to take care of someone else. I feel that it's time for you to take care of yourself. Making sure that you're okay. Making sure that you're grounded and stable. Okay, allowing someone else to take care of you. So, recent past happenings for Libra. The star. Mm, you have the star and you have the nine of cups. There was something happen, ha that happened in the recent past where you felt like um, there were destined events. Okay. The ultimate wish come true for you. But there, you're questioning something right now. You're questioning how somebody feels. Trying to um, basically take control of the situation here with this Queen of Pentacles energy. But you cannot control how someone else feels. Um, but also not letting it determine how you feel. Doing what makes you happy and not trying to control the outcome um, for someone else. Okay. Let's see what your crowning thoughts are. Libra's crowning thoughts. Eight of Pentacles. You're trying to get the ultimate commitment. I feel that um, at this point, you feel like you're kind of sort of there, but um, it's not exactly where you would like for it to be. You are wanting to continue to build upon it, work on the relationship, work on yourself, um, and protect those that you uh, hold dear. I feel like there's something that I feel that you're trying to lock in here, um, but you're questioning whether or not it is what you thought it was. You're questioning. Something I wanted to flip over there. What's coming in for Libra? Seven of Pentacles. Hmm. You have an Eight of Pentacles here. Continuing to build. I see you trying to show some patience around your situation. But I see you almost backing off a little bit, not putting forth as much effort. Not totally you know, just not doing anything, but um, I think you're waiting to see a return on your investment. 
here. How about Libra's viewing this situation? You're showing restraint. Mm -hmm. You're showing restraint with the strength energy there. Some of you are thinking about just cutting things off altogether. And you're showing restraint in that way. Um, and not cutting it off. Because I'm, I'm getting that you're feeling a little overwhelmed here. Your emotions are up and down, up and down, up and down. And um, you're trying not to make a hasty um, decision here. What is the influence for Libra? The world energy, Taurus, Scorpio, um, Leo, and Aquarius energy. You've got a lot of experience under your belt as far as relationships um, are concerned. And there's something in you that's telling you that you know better to do certain things than to do certain things or to think certain things. Um, but I get that there's a struggle for you. There is definitely a struggle for you, but there's a need for you guys to use your intuition to navigate through um, whatever <clears throat> trials you're currently going through right now within yourself. Because I feel that you know what you need to do. Um, I feel that you've been around and around in a circle. Um, as far as relationships go, it's like it's like a continuous cycle. But you know what you need to do. You know what's best for you. There's definitely something I feel that has, is coming to an end or has come to an end um, and you're wanting to start over. Most definitely here. Let's see. Libra's hopes or fears. Seven of Swords is that you will get caught slipping and this person will do something that you should have picked up on a long time ago. You don't want to be made a fool of is the thing. Your fear is being made a fool of. Hmm. What is the overall outcome for Libra? Ace of Wands, doing something new, starting over. This is almost like the Fool energy. After the world, of course, comes the Fool. Taking a leap of faith towards something. Okay. Having a new start. For some of you, You are actually wrapping up a situation with an individual where you were so focused on them, their needs, their feelings. Um, you're wrapping that up and focusing on you and starting over. Because I feel like this is the same song and dance that you've been through several times before. And it's like, you know, no, 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 no. I've learned my lessons here. I need to take what I've learned and put it into action. If it's not working for you, if you feel like somebody is doing something that um, trying to pull one over on you, I feel you guys wrapping that shit up and um, you know giving them their walking papers and starting over again. Because it's like you, you have this, this, this new idea that's blossoming. Something new that you want to do. 
something different that you want to do here. So we have Virgo, um, Aries, Leo, Sag energies here, primarily Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, um, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> Pisces, Cancer is here. Okay, so that is what I have for you guys, and I'll be speaking with you soon. Bye now.